Hey friend, in this video we are painting some fun, cute looking dogs. Um, I love painting animals like this. It's kind of uh, combining your imagination with basic shapes and curves. So I'm going to teach you how to use your imagination and using curves and shapes to create these fun, cutesy looking dogs. Also, I just recently came out with a couple of things, one second, where I used a dog print. So we have uh, I collaborated with Keystify. We have AirPods cases, phone cases for all of the iPhone and Android models, laptops, etc. And then also these planners. One of the planners in my collection was Staples, has a cute dog print on it. So it's fun to get on products, this type of painting on products, or just to do as a fun little activity with your friends, family, or by yourself. Um, so we're going to be painting four different types of these cutie doggies today. One has a little sweater. One, you can't see his eyes because he's got so much hair and a cute little chihuahua, tiny little guy. So if you're ready, let's dive in. Okay, so for this, I'm gonna teach you how to paint some cute loose style watercolor doggies. And don't you worry, yes, I will be painting cats too very soon. Um, but we're gonna do a few different types of dogs. I've used these types of cute dogs um, as prints for a planner collection that I've launched with staples, like this cute little doggy print. And I also la launched a dog print um, with Case to Buy for my Case to Buy collection where we had AirPods cases, iPhone cases, Air Android phone cases, all phone cases, laptop cases, etc. We'll link to both of those collections below so you can check them out. But for painting these cute dogs, I'm gonna use my size six brush and I'm gonna start with a little chihuahua type dog. So I'm gonna grab some burnt umber a little touch of Mars Black. And basically when you're imagining these cutie, cutesy animals, you're basically wanting to envision shape and curve. And so it does take practice to start to visualize this on your own without looking at a photo. But basically for my little Chihuahua, I'm gonna start at basically the forehead of the dog. And I'm gonna come down for an S curve. So I'm gonna start at the forehead of the dog and add an S curve like so. Um, and then from here, I know this is my forehead, I'm going to extend it for a round nose and I can start painting in the mouth of the dog. So we have a straight line to an S curve. And then right about here, I'm going to pull in a straight line for his front leg and then Here's my gap to the rest. And we can color the rest of this in with our burnt umber and black color. And maybe he's got a little, little hind leg swinging around here. So this base of this S curve right here is a natural lead into his little tail. So we're just gonna do a C curve up like that. and give him some ears. So his eye is gonna go right about here. I'm gonna pull his right ear to be right above his eye. Got some pointy ears. And maybe release some of that pigment and just grab water for his next ear to go behind. I'm gonna wait for that to dry so we can add the eyeball later. Next, I'm gonna move on to my kind of shaggy mop dog. And I'm gonna give him a tongue first 
um, because his tongue is sticking out. And he's gonna be a black dog. So I wanna paint the tongue first, let the tongue dry, and then I'm gonna paint the moppy hair around it once that dries. So I'm gonna paint in a little tongue, which is just gonna be using the side of the brush and just a, just a floating tongue for now. <laughs> and then we're gonna move on to our next dog. For my next dog, and I'm gonna leave some space here. This is where my mop dog's gonna be. So I'm gonna come down over here. My next dog's going to be a terrier and he has a little sweater on. So I'm going to give, I'm gonna paint in the, the little ring of the top of the sweater where your head goes in right here, this little C curve with blue. And then I'm going to release all that pigment off my brush and basically just grab water on my brush and grab that and pull it across in a straight line for his sweater. And it's gonna come around his body like here and come down over his front leg here. And fill it in. Because we're working with wet paint using watercolor, I'm not gonna paint his brown fur just yet. Same thing with this mop dog where we painted the tongue only and moved on. Because if I started to paint his brown fur, it'll all just become a big mess. So we've got where his neck is gonna go and his head, his arm or his legs and whatnot, but we're gonna wait for that to dry first. I might go back in and add a little bit more, you know, blue at the base, fun little bleeds. And then our next dog is also gonna be another brown dog. And we're just gonna be using the side of the brush for his forehead. So I'm gonna use about a 25 degree angle on my brush. I'm just going to bring a little stroke or like a little oval here down first. That's gonna be the forehead of the dog. And I've got some burnt umber and a little touch of Mars black. And I'm just going to be using the tip of my brush for these little shaggy ears. kind of like three little pokies, technical word. And then he's got this big beard. Just kind of flicking my brush around and using the tip of the brush for this little beard, beard dog. And that beard is gonna continue down for his legs, just lightened his fur color a little bit with my water. We've got his legs coming down here. We'll give him some darker paws too. And a tail coming up the side. I don't know what kind of dog this is. No idea. <laughs> Shaggy furry guy. All of these doggies are rescue pups. Because hmm. adopt, don't show. Okay, so waiting for these guys to dry. I might go back in with some darker brown, give them some feet, little paws. Make it look more like that's where he's got his little claws and his paws going on. I'll put some eyes in his nose soon. This tongue seems to be dry, so I'm gonna move on here. Back to this black mop dog. Again, don't know my breeds very well. But I am going to give him a nose. So I'm gonna use about a 45 degree angle on my size six brush and just kind of make this like rounded triangle. And he's not gonna have eyes. His eyes are covered by his fur. So we're going to have these big C curves for his ears, just using the tip of my brush. And this hair, he's got bangs, he's got flyaways.
That white space is crucial between his nose and his bangs, so it's not just a big blob. And then he's gonna have beard. Just kind of giving him the shape of his face. And a wide body kind of outlining first and then filling in with, with these strokes. Here's his paw. Here's his other paw. back paws kind of fanned out behind his front ones. There's our moppy guy. I'm gonna make his ears a little bit longer so they're not so like bowl cut. There you go. Let's move back to this terrier and we are gonna start with his neck. So I've got my burnt umber with a touch of Mars Black. And I'm just going to give where the edges of his sweater are, I'm just going to add two straight lines that are going pointing in the same direction. Then I'm going to release all that pigment off of my water, just grab water and fill that in for his neck. And then give him a long snout. Kind of with a straight face. And then grab some darker brown. So I'm going to add some more Mars Black to it. And add little triangle ears. Floating. And we've got a straight leg here. Leg going behind there, just painting rectangles. And then extending his booty a little bit for a leg right there. And here. He's got a big booty. <laughs> for that to dry and then we'll add some eyes for that guy. And then while that dries, I'm going to grab just Mars Black on my brush and come up to this Chihuahua and give him a little eyeball right here. And the side of his little triangle nose and a little smile. Same thing with this guy. We're gonna give him two little beady eyes. and a triangle nose using black like that. And this is still a little wet, so I'm just gonna give it a little dot at the edge of his nose and a little eyeball. There you have it, cutesy little puppy dogs. Make your own prints for products. There you have it, cute little pups. 
paint these on your homemade greeting cards or scan. If you know how to scan and digitize your work, you can create patterns and prints like I did for my planners and my tech goodies with, with Casetify. So have fun, try out some other doggies. If you want us to try painting more dogs, let us know what type of dog you'd like me to paint in the comments below or a different type of animal. We're gonna have some kitty tutorial coming up soon. So we're gonna do kitties. Don't you cat lovers worry. We have the kitties coming. Um, but if you wanna see more types of dogs or a different type of animal altogether, let me know in the comments below what you would love to see me paint and we'll do a tutorial out of it and I'll see you in the next video.